Hello, my lovelies. Hello, everybody. We hope everybody's had as an enjoyable a weekend as we've had. Because we've had another good one, haven't we, mate? We always have a good one, don't we, mate? When we always you, have a good one. Mate, when you get to my age, you know, everyone is a bonus. I can well imagine, mate. I can well imagine. Right. Let's start by talking people through what you've been up to this weekend. I had a bit of a change, you know me. Did you? I did. Must be your age. Must be. I'm getting old. Um, I went to the Old River Neen at Mark. Right. Reason being, our our Angling Trust Winter League finals there. Right. Um, Fishing with Barnsley, Dread and Barnsley there. Uh, half the matches at Decoy and half is at March. And yeah. They put me at March. Have they? What have yeah. they done that for then? I don't know. Well, who've they put Do where then? Because Barnsley. Is one of the big teams. It is one of the big teams. So can you tell me who you can't? I can't reveal it. It's can a you secret. Not? I can reveal that I'm going to march. Ooh. I think Lee Carey's going to April, you know. Really? Yeah, Lee Harrison's going to May. I wonder who Andrew Dawkins and Starts are going to send to take you down. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. So you're at March? Yeah, I'm at March. So I went practising with my, with my mate Simon Fields. Yeah. Drennan Barnsley Angler. All yeah. around nice guy. Um. And we had a lovely day fishing. He battered me, to be honest. Did yeah. he? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. He caught probably 18, 20 pound a great big route. Oh, lovely. Caught on, caught on everything we did. That's the trouble sometimes with practising, isn't it? You mm. catch on a bit of everything. We've got some on bread, a few fish on M, some fish on pinkies. But I'll tell you what, it's going to be an awesome final on there. Loads of bites, loads of fish. Yeah, yeah. It'll be really good. Um, I had a nice day. We caught 12 pound a route. First time lovely. I've ever fished it. It's right, right, weird venue because it's like. Six or seven metres wide, three and a half foot deep, and you never see a fish top at all. No. Not a single one, and then you catch one every chuck in. Brilliant. Ridiculous. Like, they must just be bank to bank routes, but I had a lovely day fishing. In fact, I got um, a little snippet of Simon fishing. Do you want to see it? Have you? I do. Let's have a look. Have a look at this. Well, had an absolutely lovely day practicing on the old River Neen with Brennan Barnsley teammate of mine, Simon Fields. And look at these fishes catching there. Proper roach. Hold him up, Si. Proper fishing. Nice roach them, aren't they? That is awesome, isn't it? Proper good, proper good. Never Lovely see... stamped fish, aren't they? Oh, really? yeah. Not many of them to pound, is there? No, no. Like I said, he caught probably 18, 20 pound of in three or four hours. Brilliant. Awesome it was. Brilliant. Um, we had some visitors as well, Did you know. You? We had a few. We had Armour Joward, your new signing. He's Bless a, him. He's a nice guy, I love Armour. He's awesome. He come down and gave us a few pointers because it's like he used to fish there quite a lot. Yeah. And then Rob Wright and Abby Kendall come now. Did they? They're a great pair of tigers, them, aren't they? They love it, don't they? Yeah. Local uh, angler ass. And in fact, she gave me a really good tip, you know. Did she? And what's it? She gave me, she told me about it and I says, can I get a little video of that and I can put it in my blog? They say, don't they, that sometimes the simple things in fishing are the best. The simple tips are the yeah. best. But I think Abby's taking it to a new level with this one. Oh, it's, especially, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. Well, put it this way, it transformed my catch rate. I bet it did. Hey up folks, we're here today on the old River Neen at March and I've got this vicious little tiger with me, Abby Kendall. She's a local uh, angler ass and I was catching a few fish but she's come down and given me an excellent tip. It's totally transformed my catch rate and she's going to tell you what it is right now. Abby. The tip is, when you get a bite on bread, you must strike. So that's enough about my Saturday. Mm. Where did you go Saturday? What did you get up to? I had a lovely day on Saturday. Yeah. I agreed with my friend Scottish. Yes, the Scottish Aye. friends of mine I am. Scottish. Um well, Jamie James Dunham, who obviously came down and stopped with me over Christmas. Lovely lad. My mum really likes him. Does she fancy him? I think if he were a few years older, he'd have a he'd have a chance. I think no, she might no. even like him nearly as much as she likes you. But not more. No. 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 Me and your mum are very, very close, you know. You give off. We are. <laughs> you need to just watch. She watches these vlogs. We are. You'll be in trouble if you carry on like that. Anyway, James Dornan um, said he was going to come down again to the daily with a few of his friends. Scottish friends. Scottish. And um, so they did. I met them all at Wickersley. Um, yeah. You know, some of the guys I'd met before, some of them I haven't, hadn't. Um, but I agreed to take them all on the daily for a day. Yeah. Um, and I thought I'd use it as a chance to help them out and also <coughs> to have a practice with Bloodworm and Joker because I haven't been able to catch a lot of fish on Bloodworm this year. I've had a right. great year so far at Thorn. 
Um, but everything's been on casters. And mm. I just thought, if I could get that bloodworm a bit better, catch a few on that early, you know, get a bit better at it. And then late on, uh, hopefully catch on casters. And you and Lee helped me out a lot, a lot last year, obviously fishing the teams of three. And um, But the sort, sort of the tactics that we were, were using just haven't seemed quite right for me. I know Lee had a bad match on it the other week as well. He yeah, really struggled yeah. to catch. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to try a few different things. But little did I know when I got there that they got a little trick up the sleeve, these Scottish. Had they? Oh, yes. yes. They said, how do you fancy having a fiver? A little oh, match. Yeah. little match. It could mean penny pinching. Yeah. So I thought, right. yeah, I thought, oh, this is what they want to do. Is it? And anyway, to be fair to them, it was very light off. They even offered to let me pick my peg. So did I said, they? I, they did. I didn't. I said, we'll draw it out for them. <sighs> um, and, uh, yeah, so we got set up. And... Um, I started fishing. I thought I'll fish for about half an hour, and I'll just have a walk down and make sure that they're all catching a few fish and you know enjoying the staying and everything. And uh, I fished for half an hour. Went for a walk down to see how they were getting on, and they were all bagging. And I'm thinking, bloody hell, this is a, this is we're taking this serious, and they're all catching loads of fish, probably more than me. So I've got right down to the bottom, seeing them all, I'm after with them, and gone back to my box and carried on fishing. <coughs> and I kind of caught a few roach, but it wasn't great. Um, I did, however, try something that you put me on to, dinner, the fluorocarbon mainline. Ah, did you like it? I absolutely loved it. I wouldn't have dreamed of ever fishing the fluorocarbon mainline, but that was brilliant. For roach fishing, I think it's all right, isn't it? I think it? it's fantastic. It's got a few things going for it. You know, the fact that it's a little bit stiffer, makes your presentation a bit better, doesn't yeah. it? And really, really liked it. So it was a great day and a great chance to experiment. Oh, I did get caught out when my friend Tom Potter found my hook box. Oh, no. What happened? You'll see. I've just looked in Tom Scully's up box. You know, a pole fishing editor who puts a lot of time and dedication into his angling. And this is what I've come across. <laughs> Four hooks in a hook box. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. He's a devil, isn't he? He is, he is. He come walking down and he said, can I have a look at your hooks? And I've got a few different up boxes, obviously with different patterns tied. Well, you should know your time most of them, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And uh, he picked the one with the least up on it. So I have, honestly, I've got a few more than that. I've got at least, I always have at least, I always take at least six hooks to me with with the bank, with the bank to the bank with me, whether yeah. I need them or not. You know, no way if you lose You're one. fishing hooks, aren't they? Definitely, definitely. And I, I found, you know, the more you bend them back, sometimes they snap, don't they? So you can yeah. only bend them back so many times. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. That was that. But I ended up with, I think, £3 something, £3.10. I only fished for about probably three and a half hours, a bit less maybe. Um, lovely, lovely fishing. A great day with the with the Scottish. Nice. Bag. It was actually won off the end pair I was by Colin McCarroll, who had £8. A lovely net of fish. Um, a, a great day, really. Nice. So on to Sunday. And um, what happened then, mate, for you? Sunday? I, well, I stayed down. Yeah. Stayed in March, me yeah. and Simon. I uh, went out for a curry. Yeah. With some friends, Abby and Rob and that. Um, yeah. And then Sunday was the March Open. Was it? Yes. Quite a big match. Was I think, it? I think there was 100 and odd on it. I think it might have been 120. That's a proper match. It was really good. I'll tell you what I liked about it. The right good atmosphere. Like at draw, you draw in like this little alleyway yeah. in a pub and loads of good anglers, loads of you recognise and that. You want to get your autograph book out when you stood in draw queue. And. Um, I drew a bit called the allotments. Apparently, it's not great, but it looked really nice. It didn't mm. look any different anywhere else. So, and everyone says you get a few bites down there. And to cut a long story short, I ended up catching six pound fifteen ounce of roach, little mm. chunky ones. I didn't have loads. Nice little dumpy fish. And Simon the Devil. Yeah. He won our section. Did he? Yeah, I come second to him, but he he were about three or four pegs further up, and he had eight pound four. He's a bit good. He's brilliant, isn't he? He is. Really, he is. really good. Do you think the allotment's just a stretch of river that'll grow on you with time? Oh, it could do, couldn't it? Or did you fish this felt like you fish like a bit of a vegetable? No, to be honest, I, uh, I just sowed the seed. Did you? Did you time. catch on the seed, did you? No, I didn't catch on the seed. Caught everything on, on bread. You have to excuse me, I'm just digging for information. Are you really? Yes, oh. yes, I'm sure I'll get to the bottom of it. Yeah. Don't try and muddy the water, though, with any false information. I'll soil like... myself in a minute, I'm that excited. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'll do for those. I'm <laughs> just hit rock bottom there, don't remember that one. <laughs> so... But... Now, uh, the match was won, mm -hmm. great performance, yeah. by another, he's a Barnsley angler, yeah. um, Will Freeman, he's a local angler as well yeah. though, he had £16, um, Brilliant. somewhere a bit further up in the town, I think he caught some fish on bread and he also caught a few on hemp as well. Did he? Yeah. 
yeah um there were a few there were 15 pound thing 14 um and but i'll tell you what else he's good they pay like six or seven people like yeah. match. yeah i think he got 300 quid for winning it not bad is it that and you know what i didn't even offer to buy us a drink did he not yeah i did really did he buy you one? yeah yeah bless him but no that was my sunday mate really enjoyed it learned a lot and i shall uh, definitely be going back to march i loved it excellent tell me about your sunday my sunday was the fifth round or the fourth no, the fourth. fourth round of the bait tech canal championship yeah on the stand for the keyboard canal at thorn which i ran in conjunction with lee Kerry, and we got there and obviously it was very cold and it was snowing a little bit on saturday night I nearly didn't get off my road. You know, then got stuck at the bottom, and I had to give it some revs to get off. Anyway, I got there, but the canal wasn't frozen, which we were very surprised at. Well, right. I thought it might have a little layer of ice, and it could about minus one. I thought minus two, cold anyway. Anyway, not frozen. Gone in to do the draw, done the draw, come out, and it's frozen. Between half past seven and half past eight, it froze. Anyway, weird, isn't it? Yeah, I drew peg one seven one, which yeah. is an area of the canal I haven't been to yet. Stop it, Guinness. Yeah. One, give over. Hey, do well. Yeah, yeah not seven, been there. No. And um, to be honest, didn't really know what to expect. It's not normally the best of areas, is no, it? No, it's up not. Um, so, yes, I was up there. And I had a good section. You always have a bloody good section on them matches, don't yeah, you? Some awesome angles. Glenn Lawrence, the Barnes the captain, was in my section. Yeah. John Freeborn was in my section. Gotta watch him, haven't you? Ray Brothwell obviously knows it very Love well. Ray. And James Dornham. Ah, and Scottish. Yes, and obviously he'd had £6 the day before. He was brimming with confidence. Yeah. And I thought, hmm, I could have my hands full here today with this little lot. So I decided, though, I mean, I was very tempted after not doing so well on Bloodworm the day before. And I thought, I'm still not quite getting this. I thought, no, I've got to get this right. And if any, any day is going to be right for Bloodworm, it's going to be today. Yeah, ice on water. So I thought, I'm going to get my head down and fish a nice joker match, short and long. And I've had a great day's fishing. I've had loads of little fish, not, not many stampers. Um, I probably had 100, 130 fish, something like that. So it wasn't hectic, but I was able to like work at it, and you know, it was just, just yeah, nice, yeah. nice, steady fishing. Um, I weighed seven pound three ounce, which yeah. was enough to win the section. Well done, thank you very much. Uh, only just beating though, James Dornan, who I was delighted. Old Clydesdale, I was delighted to see him qualify. He's put the time, and he's been down to that canal now three times. I think it's about a four-hour drive for him. Blum. From Edinburgh, so he's put the time in, and obviously I'm already in the final. I'd already qualified, and he was second, so he got in by default. Well done, James. Awesome, so I would chuffed to death. Love him to bits. Great lad, and uh, good to uh, hopefully we'll be able to give him some of them Scottish notes back yeah. in the final. So we're getting loads of them now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to dish them back out. Right, Somebody's we'll going to use them, don't we? Give them back. So um, well, that was that. What? Uh, who won the match? The match was won by none other than Mr. Lee Kerry. And I think we actually need to say something, don't we, about, about Lee? Yeah, just give me one second. All right. So last week, we've had a bit of a complaint from we Pez, have. haven't we? We have. Because this numpty here had got his Matrix hat on. And you had got your Drennan hat on at one point, I believe. Yeah, but look what we've got this week. The yeah, Lee, look, look, we've put him on for you. We've got our Preston. And what we've also done, if you've been watching, is swapped hats all the way through, haven't we? Yeah, because... because... me and Matt are only too aware that no company wants to be too associated with us two. No. So we have to spread it between them. We're impartial. We're impartial. Way. Totally impartial. Yes. Stand alone. Stand alone. Yes, we, we stand on our own two feet, yeah. don't we? Yeah. So, yeah, we've done that little bit for you. And he won the match, didn't he? You said. He won the match on Sunday. He put in a fantastic performance. He yeah. drew 226, I think he was on, which is, no, 228 or something like that. Is that a... Who's hey it? up! Who is it? Kez! Hey up. <laughs> What's he got to say? Now then, Kez. All right, love you. Now, we're just doing our blog show you live on... I know, that's all right. Tom's just turned it off now, so you're all right. That's all right, I can talk, mate. You had a uh, nice match on Sunday, didn't you? Were they? Jumping out everywhere when you got there. Big uns. Really? You cut, cut three before it start on a bare hook. Really? I had to put them back with that many there? Yeah. Flipping out. Right, right. Did you catch on bloodworm? They don't normally catch bream there, do they? How many breams they had? Didn't tell me about them. Just one. Really? Six pound, bloody hell. 
Right, right. Any tens? No. Right. Oh, awesome, mate. Well, you did well. You did well. No, no. I didn't... Uh, I've not known there have been that many fish there for a long time, mate. Yeah. All right, love. I'll let you go. I'm I'm going. We're going to crack on. Well done anyway. See you later. ta -da. It sounds like there are a few there then, doesn't it? <sighs> Jesus. You see, I've got three before it starts and a six-pound bream. I've never seen a bream out of there, have it's you? Not a six-pound one. No. I haven't. I haven't. No, in all seriousness, he did absolutely brilliant, did our lead, didn't he? Yeah. Um, he caught a load of little roach on Joker. And then some better fish on hemp later. Awesome. Um, and to round off this week's interview, or this week's... Blog. Blog. We've actually got a little interview with him. So until next week, folks, we'll love you and leave you. Take care, watch them roads and tight lines. Goodbye. Well, I'm here with my fellow league organiser, Lee Carey, who has won the match today. Quite a distinguished performance, if I might say so, sir. Not a bad day, Tom. Um, no. Unbelievable how cold has affected this canal, really, mm. when you consider how good the weights have been. Oh, it's been brilliant. You know, brilliant. I mean, usually we're talking big weights, and because we've had some cold, the weights have come down, but what a close match. It's been, it's been amazing, hasn't it? Really? Excellent fishing, you know. Yeah, really the weather. It, mate. We got to the canal this morning, I sort of got here at quarter past seven, and it wasn't frozen. We were not a bit of ice on any of it when yeah. I drove past this morning. Yeah. And then we went in for the draw, and to be fair, the forecast said the coldest part of the day was seven till nine. And yeah. we come out, and there's like... And the canal's frozen. Yeah, frozen. <laughs> and you know, the lad next to me couldn't even break it with his pole pot, so it was quite thick. He had yeah. to break it. Yeah, break I've it, chucked a breaker in, yeah, yeah, just chucked a breaker in. I've had a nice day's fishing. I've had probably eight pound on bloodworm, and then a few fish on emp late on for 12 pound. Not Nice fishing. It's just, I've had bites from the start. I mean, when you come on a really cold day, you just want bites. Yeah. And, Although the canal has got a lot of small fish in it, it's still giving you bites all the time, isn't it? So, I've, really, I've loved it and we've had a great turnout again tonight, oh, right. so been, we can't been, complain, can so we? Far, good competition yeah, so it's far. a brilliant competition, you know, what we're trying to do is get generate money for this final and there's going to be a lot of money to pay out and yeah. I mean, I, I saw a couple of anglers today giving it this when they qualified, you know, so that really means a lot to the it people does. who are qualifying, which it does. that's the whole point of the competition, isn't it? Absolutely, mate, absolutely. So talk us through how you've caught your blood well, man. what you fed on that line? Uh, I fed some, uh, I fed ground bait and soil, I fed a little bit of that Sunavates River with some soil um, and I fed three lines of bloodworm, which is interesting because I only caught on two of them. One of them was like devoid of fish, which I I sometimes find that on here, but I, I actually think if you fed two, you'd catch on two. I just think that you probably split your fish up a little bit, yeah. really. Um, and I've caught on those really well for about three hours. Caught odd fish on hemp for the last two hours and then just kept flicking between the two and just topped up with the same mix, really. I've only used, I've used a pack of joker and two tins of hemp, that's it. Nice day's fishing, that, isn't it? Lovely day's fishing, yeah. mate. Well done again. Thank you very much, sir. And, Not bad. Uh, I shall see you next week. Yeah, let's go.